Hi, I'm Deanna Springer with the fun Stitch It Sisters Stitch It in Minutes project. First, we'll introduce our Stitch It Sisters guest, Jill Rep. You may know Jill as the host of many June Taylor project inspiration videos. Welcome back to Stitch It Sisters, Jill. Thanks, Deanna. It's so nice to be back. You know I love coming here and working with the whole team at NZP. And today, we're going to talk about organization and how to keep our quilting and sewing projects organized and fun. First, let's take a look at the project we're making today. We'll be stitching our Quilt As You Go project bags with black, white, and bright Contempo fabrics by Christina Watson for Benertex, June Taylor's Magic Seam Wand, Glue Stick, and Quilter Starch Savvy, Schmetz Chrome Quilting Needle Size 90, and our Bernina B770 sewing machine. Before making our Quilt As You Go project bags, let's review what's in the package. We have materials in here to make two sizes of project bags. So this is our heavy duty non-woven material. And you can see we've actually printed patterns on here. And that's actually gonna be the pattern for the back of the project bag. So this is the pattern that's on the back of the 16 inch bag. And if we turn this over, this is the pattern that we will be stitching for the back of the 18 inch bag. Usually if this were a pillow or something, this would be the front, but this is the back. This is actually the back. Mm -hmm. So you get one piece of this with both of those printed on there for the two bags. Mm -hmm. You also get two pieces of clear vinyl, and we're gonna use that to sew in the front of each bag. So you get plenty of that. And then you're going to get our zippity do done pre-sewn zippers. So each kit comes mm -hmm. with one for the 18 inch and one for the 16 inch bag. And that's this right particular here. kit has the navy, but this does come in other colors and we will show you those eventually. But So we chose navy. navy because our fabrics coordinate with navy. Exactly. And here's why we call that the back. Here's the back. Here's the front. Here's the front, because we want you to be able to see through it. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is cut each of our project bags out mm -hmm. out of the heavy duty material. But first and we need to prepare our fabrics. We do. We, so we, the fabrics are not included with the kit. We've selected the black, white, and bright Contempo fabrics by Christina Watson for Benertex. But first we need to starch the fabrics before we cut them. We wanna starch them so they're nice and stiff because as we construct the back of this bag, we are not gonna be using the iron on here, so we have to finger press, so we want the pieces nice and stiff. We use our Quilter Start Savvy, and we give it at least two applications. With each application, it gets a little bit stiffer. That makes it easier for piecing and easier to press open. So once everything is pressed, our fabrics are ready to go, then we cut out our backing fabric, and in this case, we use this gorgeous fabric for the back. Because that will show, I'll keep bringing this back in and out, that backing fabric shows, shows through, through the, the clear front. vinyl. Exactly. So when you store your supplies in here, you'll see that fabric. So you want to make sure you're choosing the that fabric. You love, of, yeah. right? You want to make sure you love the backing mm -hmm. fabric just as much as the front. And then what you're going to do is you're going to affix this heavy duty material to your backing fabric and we use our quilt basting spray for that, or you can also use um, our glue stick. That's a real super easy way to attach these two. And then if you like, you can even stitch around the outer edge just to make sure they stay attached. Mm -hmm. Once we do that, we're ready to start sewing. So what we're gonna do is take our first piece, piece number one, and we're just gonna put a little bit of this glue in here. And it's purple when you apply it to the material. It is, but eventually it will dry clear. And then we're gonna put piece number one in the number one spot. And see how nice that glue just holds it in place. And then we're gonna find piece number two. And you're meeting it to those blue lines. To the blue lines. Now the blue lines are placement lines, not stitching lines. We're always gonna stitch in a quarter inch seam allowance, but that just helps us line up our fabrics. So we take piece two, which is a rectangle, against piece one, right sides together and raw edges even, line it up on the placement line between one and two, and stitch in a quarter of an inch away. And then when you're done, you're gonna flip that up and we will finger press that open. And we don't want to use a hot iron. Right. This, this is for finger pressing or for using your magic seam wand. So we would take our stitching line here that you can see, flip this up, 
and then either finger press or use this wooden apparatus. And we love this because you can actually heat this up with your iron and run it along the seam line to get it to lay nice and flat. And that's what you want so that this bag stays very flat. And then we're going to add piece number three, and that would go here right sides together between one and three on the line, stitch in a quarter inch seam allowance, and that'll flip open till we get to the next step. And we did a couple of them for you here. We did um, two and three, and then we would do pieces four and five and get those seams pressed Pressing nice it away and from the center and along exactly. the seam. So we're, we're almost done with the back. We have to add six, seven, eight, and nine, and those two are also just rectangles. We would add those on. And then our entire back is pieced. So this is the back of the bag. And if I look at this, it's gonna be the inside of the front. And it's completely quilted. It's not batting. It's that thicker material that you want this to be a stand-up bag. And it, you've still stitched through all three layers. All three layers. Piece the fabrics through that substrate and then right through the fabric. And the, the substrate back. is durable, so this can actually hold a lot because mm -hmm. you could have fabric tools, all kinds of things right. in here. So now the back is done. Now we're gonna start working on the front. So that is simply taking this rectangle that's also printed on the, um, the material. You can see the rectangle. And we're basically putting um, a piece of decorator fabric or quilting fabric on here that we mm -hmm. like. And we're simply gonna stitch some straight stitch quilting lines some down Some straight here. line machine quilting. And we've got that done here. So that's how that front piece is finished. Very simply, same on the front. Just the front top, the back. that little piece that's yep. above the zipper. Mm -hmm. And then what we're gonna do is get our zippity doo down zipper out, and we are going to sandwich our project top inside the casing of zippity. So Zippity's zipper is already sewn in for you. The hard work is done. There's a casing on each side. You just flip the casing open, insert your project into the casing like this, and then you can either pin it or you can glue it into position, and then you're just gonna run a straight stitch right down here. No zipper foot required because the zipper's already put in for you. Amazing. It's a flange that accepts your fabric. Any type of crop project mm -hmm. or piece of fabric you can put mm -hmm. in there. So now that we've got that done, our zipper is put in on the top, we're going to now add a piece of our vinyl. Mm -hmm. So the piece of vinyl just nests right in there. And you want to kind of line that up with the edges of the top. There you go. That looks perfect and nest it in there and straight stitch that on here. And your presser foot is stitching on the fabric. It's not on the vinyl, so it won't grip and stick to the vinyl. You're stitching right on the flange of the zippity You are, doodon. and there is a piece of tissue if you prefer mm -hmm. to stitch on tissue right. with Put the, the vinyl. Right, the tissue paper that it you comes can, with underneath. You can do that and in that. And it will glide right on the bed of your sewing machine. Great tip. And then when you have this done, you have this nice casing here. If you wanna leave this casing as is, it looks mm -hmm. great. Or you can add machine stitches or fabric. Here we just decorated our casing with a little bit of the machine stitch that we thought really replicated the look of the fabric. And it's just a nice uh, added touch. We'll show you some other examples where we have um, used fabric to embellish the zippity casing. That's great because you could leave it just as is with that navy, that solid. Absolutely. Or... And now this is the fun part. We mm -hmm. go wrong sides together like this and all we're doing, like a quilt, is just simply binding this. So this is where we could use some wonder clips. You can hold all your things together and with wonder clips. hold the layers clips. together. Right. And for the binding, you could use your binding that coordinates with this. June Taylor has coordinating binding that matches the zippity doo done. I just wanted to show you there's other colors. We chose the navy mm -hmm. today, but we also mm -hmm. have kits that have the zippity in, in black, gray, the camel. So you choose your kit according to your fabric. So that's why we went with the navy. Our fabric really reads well with the navy, but you could make uh, it in red or navy or black, depending on what fabrics you're going with. You're, you the, you're the designer, so you get to choose. So then we bind and our project bags are done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll bring that back so we can look at the binding. And there's two different sizes. So this is the smaller size and it's not small. 16 by 16. Mm -hmm. And I thought with that is, you know, you are going to be wanting to put 15 and a half inch quilt blocks in here and, you know, 
tools and every mm -hmm. thread, everything you're going to need. This one's 18 by 18, so that accepts it's a much. It's a nice size. I mean, you could use a plastic bag, but this is this is classy. Well, and it just keeps everything so mm -hmm. organized. And it's so durable, too. Very durable. And it's beautiful. Thank you. In fact, I brought some other samples to show you. Should we take a look at those? Let's take a look. This is a sample that we used with the zippity doo done, and we didn't do anything to that. We just inserted it like that, uh, how it comes. Here's an option that has a red zippity doo done. And again, you can see how cute that fabric that is that that shows through. Mm -hmm. And here's the binding. Well, you talked about binding, but you could use the solid that matches the zippity doo done. You could. Or custom cut your own binding using the binding buddy ruler. That's the fun. You get to decide how you mm -hmm. want to do it. And then this shows a different way to treat zippity. Instead of using your machine stitches, you can actually just use some of the coordinating fabric. Mm -hmm. Fold it under, right. and you can use one of your bias tape makers. Right. Fold it under. We use the three quarter inch Clover's bias tape maker. It's just straight cut strips, but we still put it through the maker and press that with an iron. And again, custom trim that coordinates with your binding. And you would always do that right after you've got zip it installed when, when it's, it's flat. flat. And then this is an example of what the tan zipper looks like on these beautiful batiks in here. Again, we've added the fabric decor there, but they're very pretty on both sides. So beautiful. it's nice to take beautiful. to guild meetings or classes mm -hmm. um, and keep everything totally organized. And it just zips right open for you to store. Yeah. You can your see, projects. see all your cool tools. Cool projects, sewing projects. And this now is I'd just... sew my sewing project or store my sewing projects in this. This one is sewing machine fabric, so of mm -hmm. course we had to use mm -hmm. that. And mm -hmm. this shows you how the, the gray zippity looks. So very, mm -hmm. very pretty. Right. And even though uh, you have blues and off-whites here, the, the gray blends with your fabric when you add some fabric trim there. Jill, these are just beautiful. I'll bring them back up and we can admire them. Whether you use batiks or novelty prints uh, or these uh, fun fabrics, plaid for binding is a great idea. That's a favorite of mine. Uh, your project bags are just wonderful projects to make, and this is the secret, the zippity doo done. Yep. Great job. Thank you. We hope you've enjoyed the Stitcher Sisters project. You'll find the Quilt As You Go project bags, along with a limited number of project bundle boxes, at stitchitsisters.com. Be sure to tune in again for another Stitchit Sisters sewing adventure. In the meantime, connect with Stitchit Sisters and friends on our social sites. Stitched Sisters is made possible by Bernina, Clover, Benertex Fabrics, June Taylor, OESD Oklahoma Embroidery Supply and Design, and ShopNZP.com. Bernina, made to create.